Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how to level resources. So as you can see on the screen, I have five tasks which are all over allocated. So I have Bob on three and Anne on two. Now to level resources, I've gone to the resource tab and the leveling area is at the end of that part of the ribbon. So you have level selection, level resource, level all, and then you've got some options and then clear. And then if you go in one by one, you can do one over allocation at a time. So the first option is grayed out at the minute because I haven't selected anything. But basically, if I, if I highlight these two and then level selection, see what it's going to do with these two tasks. So by level selection. So basically it's moved this second task across one day. Bob is still showing red because he's also on task three. So I should have highlighted all three. But I'm just going to clear the leveling for this example. Clear the whole project and bring it back. Now I can level the resource. So Bob is on three tasks and Anne is on two tasks. So if I click level resource, I can select Bob and then level now. So now it's done a bit of a scattergun effect and it's shifted Bob on task B and C forward into next week, which is OK. Everything's good and it's still over allocated. So I'll clear leveling. OK, so everybody's now back to being over allocated. Now, if I go for this option, level all. Everything moves to accommodate that request. So the three tasks for Bob are the same as what they were before. But now, in addition to that, Anne has moved forward as well. So she's now no longer over allocated. And then you can clear leveling to bring all that back like so. Now, what is causing this? In leveling options, you've got a few features that are quite useful to know about. So at the moment, by default, this is set to manual and day by day. That's just how tight this is doing it by a day. But you can change that to be even tighter minute by minute or slacker week by week, month by month. It gives you a bit more slack, but that's a default. You've got entire project ticked, but you could level between a date and a, an end date, a start date and an end date. And then you have this standard feature. So standard is the default. So that will look at predecessor dependencies, any slack, dates, priorities that are set and any, con any constraints that there might be on a task. So if you didn't want it to do it in that order, you could force the ID to go first, which is basically this one, two, three, four, five. Look at those, that's the order it will do it. And this option at the bottom is any priority that's been set to a task first. So I might have a priority for task B, for example, of 400. So it would move task A before it would move task B. In fact, that's the wrong way around. If I put that to 600, it would move task A before task B on that example. But standard is the default. Then you've got this tick box, which is not on by default. So you just want it to level within the available slack in the project. And the other one that's not ticked is level resources that are just proposed. That is not default. So all the other ones are ticked so you can see how they affect the, the, um, the leveling. So if I just click OK to this for now, I'm going to leave all that as it is. In fact, before I do that, one other point. If you do select this option automatic, what happens is that they will these as you allocate people they will automatically move so if i just click on automatic and then okay see they've already gone so if i if i do another task task g and put one day put add on it because automatic is on that's shifted straight away and it's gone across to the right now, if you've done leveling, I mean, we can still see these tasks quite clearly, but if they they may well move off the screen, depending on what this time scale is. So there is a view that you can select that will show you a leveling Gantt. So I want to go and have a look at that. So we'll go view and then other views and then more views in there. You have this option, a leveling Gantt, which I'll apply. And it basically shows you the movement uh, and the slack. 
so this table has also changed so you can see the delay um, on the on the original task so if I hover over these these little icons it should give you a, an indication of what that is so this one is pre-leveled it hasn't tell it hasn't told me but it normally does and then that's the delay so if I just double click into this itself pre-leveled you can see that color there is what that is so I'll just cancel that off and then again if I go back to resources and clear leveling all the project everything comes back and I'll get rid of this I'll put this back to the the default Gantt chart view in fact I'll just click on it there so we're all back over allocated so that's just a very quick look at how you can use the leveling feature in Microsoft project to sort out over allocations of resources so hopefully that was of use and I will thank you for your time I'll see you on the next one